So you can see we are no longer in Montreal. We made our way here to a small coastal town called Matan. This is where my mom and her husband live. We have been here before, like maybe three or four times, yeah. but always during like a cooler season, sometimes even full on winter where we don't get to enjoy summer activities. We're basically clearing the snow. Yeah, clearing snow or the snow is up to here. <laughs> so it'll be fun. Uh, the summer to be here. I think a lot of people, even Canadians, don't know about Matan mm. because it's quite far away from the major cities in Canada. So we are about seven hours away from Montreal. We are in a coastal town that is on the Gaspé Peninsula of Quebec province. But this area is known for its beautiful wildlife, beautiful views of both the sea, like it's really close to the St. Lawrence River uh, that kind of links to like the Atlantic Ocean. Mm -hmm. Also have the Matan River that flows through this area. And a lot of the people who work in these coastal towns are fishermen, just like Notes mom's husband. He owns a shrimp fishing boat, and Matan is famous for Matan shrimp, which are these like tiny, yeah, very small, tiny shrimp. We hopefully will get to try it before we leave. So right now we're just waiting for Pierre to check the weather to see if it's a good day to go fishing, because mm -hmm. we're gonna take the sailboat out, and yeah, we can't wait to show you what it's like living here in this remote town of Canada. The weather is not perfect, but the wind situation is yeah. good enough for boating. Yay! So we're gonna head to the Let's boat right fishing. now. <laughs> oh, mom's driving? Uh, okay. Huh? What is mean? <laughs> Dude. Okay then. Good luck everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Son, you really <laughs> Real quick, we would like to say thank you to Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video. They are a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel at any time. So every month, members get introduced to cool new products like outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, and more based on a preference quiz they fill out. We are more interested in camping and outdoor equipment, so let's see what's in our boxes. In our first box, we have a compact hammock and also a waterproof blanket, which we'll definitely use when we go camping. And in the second box, we have a bottle of seasoning and a camping stove, which I think is going to be our favorite. So 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based in the US. And every box of awesome has around $70 worth of goods inside. But as a member, you get all of it for only $49 a box. How it works is that you'll get a box assigned to you and before it's shipped, you get to preview what is inside. You can either keep it, swap it for a different box or skip the month entirely for no charge. If you're interested in signing up, you can get 20% off your first box of awesome by clicking the link in the description and enter Flora and Note 20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash Flora and Note 20. Now let's get back to the video. How does the water look, mom? It's very calm. Perfect for fishing? Yes, yes. Just a little bit red drop, but it's okay. You see the people come out a lot, you see? We wait for this moment about more than one week. <laughs> it was rain every day. Whoa, so many! Didi, you excited? <laughs> Didi is excited to go on the boat! <laughs> there she is. That's Pierre, but I'm talking about the boat. Her name is Misty Morn. You excited? Yeah. We're gonna catch something? I always catch something. <laughs> Even if it's a crab or something weird like that, I always catch Octopus. Something. Yeah, I catch an octopus one time. Okay, yeah. Hey, let's go, Didi! <laughs> Here 
we have a kitchen. They have all the seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when we catch the fish, we'll cook it right here. They take it out pretty far sometimes, right? That's yeah. why they have all the stuff. Um, there's more storage. There's a microwave, a fridge, a lot of um, baits for fishing. This is the dining area. Dining area, storage space, which can be converted to two beds actually. And then there's more. And here, I think this is the beds that they use because these two beds have bed sheets and stuff. Yeah. So these two. And I remember last time we were last time we were on the boat, there was another bed that in the front. Yeah. Like a, a big one. A queen size bed. Yeah. Okay. Show us how it's done here. Okay. Mom says we don't really have to swing it out, right? Yeah. You just have to drop it and let the line loose. So Charlie said it's only about like 25 feet or something. It's not that deep. But the way we're fishing now, we're trying to get mackerels, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. <laughs> get fish. I'm gonna get fish. No way! Oh! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> That's a good size too. Oh, oh and she cut the. Oh, I'll help you. Cut the net. Nice. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> You have a good feeling now? That means they're here. You know what? Today we're pretty lucky. Although we only caught one fish so far. We saw a seal, seal and dolphin. And we still have time, so we probably all gonna catch some fish. Yeah. And we might even see whales because the, there are whales around in this region too, right? Yeah, yeah I think right now this, the water here is the, the lower St. Lawrence River. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it does go into the Atlantic Ocean and there is a chance we might see whales. But I would just love for the dolphins to come just a little bit closer to say hi. Bring it yeah. One, two, and three! It's so much fun when you caught something. And it's even better when you don't have to take off the fish yourself. <laughs> here, here, here took us. it off for you. <laughs> okay, we can go home now. No, no, I have to catch something now. You want me to show you how to fish, huh? Because I caught three. How many, how many did you catch? I, you know, it's like uh, I'm, I'm the I'm the owner of the place and then I the let landlord. the yeah the landlord and I let the guests win oh, to, okay. to please them. Oh that I is see. I just see. Uh, to be polite. Oh okay. Even though we get to come here once in a few years, yeah. it's always nice being back um, to see mom, to see her husband and the family. Mm -hmm. It's a good place for us to clear our mind and just spend quality family time together. And there's always something to do. Yeah. Whether in the forest, out in the ocean, yeah. or playing with D, eating delicious food that Pierre cooks for us mm -hmm. every single day. And I think we're going foraging mushroom after this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so every time we come to visit mom at Matan, we always do this foraging mushroom activity. It's like a huge family activity we do. We'll see what kind of mushrooms we find today. It was raining a lot yesterday, so there should be quite a few mushrooms for us. Mom! Hello! Oh, oh over there. On the right. <laughs> they are so quick. Are there bears in here? I feel like we should have brought bear spray, just in case. 
I think you saw something? Yeah, it's up there. What am I looking at? Chaka? Yes. How are we gonna Mom's get gonna there? I'm gonna go up. Are you sure, Mom? I could go. No, no, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, oh, that's one. For those of you who don't know what Chaka is, it's the king of mushroom, isn't it? Well, it's a it's mushroom oh, it's that mushroom. has a super high level of antioxidants. Mom's been drinking it for like... Years. Years, like 10 years. And look at her. And healthy. Because of Chaga, you look so young. <laughs> She's actually 85. Oh but, no. But, she, but because of Chaga, she looks 42. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm 40. No, no, you're 85, but you look 42 because of Chaga. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Didi said, like, are you sure you guys want to do this? What's the game plan? Yeah. Oh, you see it? You see it there? <laughs> Mom said. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the middle. Mom said. All I have to do is just walk along this tree. Yeah, up, up there. There to get yeah. it. Yeah. It's easy, huh? Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. If you're not gonna do it, mom's gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice uh, family activity. Spending and quality time together. And also, it's good that we own. We cannot do the. Um, do this. The hard thing, but okay. like this is we we enjoy it. Oh. Okay. And. This is, said, hard, this, said, is, <laughs> this is not a hard thing. This is not a hard thing. No, you cannot do the hard thing, but there is it like that is easy. It's okay. It's easy. Yeah. Can do. Oh, okay, I got a big one. Wow, look at this one, beautiful. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Whoa, let's go check. This is it. This. Wow. Back over a branch and down here. Wow, so this have... is a big one. Yeah. This one is? Yeah. No, this one not really. We don't take, they have shaka, but it's low quality, this one. This one is the best quality, this one. How this. can you tell? This, you can see the color is very yellow, and this one is the best this one oh. this one we're gonna cut off but we have to dry them at least two months and dry in nature this used to be fun <laughs> <laughs> now that i'm older it's quite scary i think we have about what two kilos and you know how much no, this goes for dry them and then it's the the weight is gonna gonna dry when it's dry it costs just one kilo okay so it, it's like two now but after we process it it's and dry it and turn it into powder yeah. it will be about a kilo and it's worth so, about two hundred dollars a kilo <laughs> quite a bit that's a time and energy goes yeah. into it though it's not easy that's why it's expensive <sighs> Alright, mission accomplished. Oh, there's so much here, look. All the way there and in there too. These are our chantra. So you beautiful. cook with them before, right? Yeah, I mean they're expensive if you dry them. But what would you do with them? Risotto? Yeah, that would be nice. Stir fry with butter, mom said. When we were little kids, mom used to uh, yeah. take us out foraging mushroom all the time. But now you're doing it here too in Canada. Yeah. Good 
Today is our lucky day. <laughs> we got some matan shrimp. Wow! Close, close. close, close. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you get? Oh, there's about uh, 20, 22 pounds. Usually, 22 pounds. the bag have reached 22 pounds per bag. So as we mentioned before, Matan is very famous for this kind of shrimp. They're tiny ones. Are them straight from the boat? They're right from the boat. Fresh from the ocean. Yeah. Whoa. Just yesterday. Oh. <laughs> These are not cooked, right? No, they're not cooked. But they why are, are they orange? They, because they already pay, they pink shrimp when they um, when they come on the boat, they're really pink. Oh. So this is their original color. That's uh, uh, even more bright than that. Mm. It's the size of my index finger. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to eat about 50 fingers. Oh, at least. Pierre said it should be about three pounds per person. So that's about a kilo and a half. Minus the heads and the tail. Yeah. Yum. <laughs> Four big plates here, but we only have one bucket for shells. This one is not going to be enough. So we are just about ready to eat, and today we have a big family dinner. So it'll be really fun to eat all these shrimp. You can see there's no cutlery here because we just eat with our hands, right? We just eat with our hands. Do you dip it in anything? No. Just yes. It. I will use my Thai <laughs> maggi. Pierre was telling me that. A lot of these matan shrimp used to be exported to Europe and to USA when the price was better, the international price was better for these uh, shrimp. So now it mostly is just serving the Quebec community, like it's shipped within Quebec. Mm -hmm. So we're really lucky to get to eat it today because we didn't have it for so many years already. <laughs> How easy it is to peel. It's like three steps. Head, body, and tail. Yeah. We should actually do a test and see how many pieces of the shrimp you eat in one minute. Everyone's ready? Yes. In one minute. See one how minute. many you can peel. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, start. Everyone's so quiet. <laughs> Oh, mom, you're pretty fast. Huh? Why? Wow. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Stop. Hands up. <laughs> Hands up. The one that the one in your hands doesn't count. Floor, <laughs> you got two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Mom, how many did you get? One, two, six. Three, four, seven, eight, five, eight, six, seven, eight, 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 nine, eight, ten. Twelve. 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 The mushroom that we went to pick and we turn it into a stir fry. Wow! Smells good. It smells buttery. The mm. So fresh, right? <laughs> I'm so fresh. And all of them have different textures. It's really nice. Mm. The 
I'm shocked. I'm really shocked. Can I keep it for in the wallet for life? I'm really wrong. Okay. We have left the province of Quebec and now we are officially in New Brunswick. Oh, I see it. <laughs> this is awesome. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it makes me hungry. There's something that I've always wanted to try, which is lobster rolls. Mm, that's delicious. <laughs> 